Sorry, I, 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 I would like to seek two clarifications. First, you said that even under the amendment, that it does not make it compulsory for INEC to use either electronic voting or, in fact, that the card reader itself must be used. It says those things should be used along with or either that or other means as prescribed by the commission. So where does the confusion come in? That's number one. Number two is that Mr. Wankwa did tell us yesterday that under the law, the law will not have, if it is passed, this electoral amendment will not have retroactive effect. That so all activities and events that have taken place up until the time it is signed into law or assented to by the president remain valid. It takes effect from the time it is signed into law. That so all such activities that have taken place beforehand remain valid because the law will not have back effect, so to speak. Yeah. I admit that any legislation takes effect from the date it is assented to by the president or the governor. That is the effective date. But when the process is like in the electoral process, which, regu which regulates the entire process from the beginning to the end, when about 80% of the processes, the elections, I mean the nominations, the filing of the forms, the payment of the amount of money that is required for you to become a candidate for each of the political parties, all that has been completed. It has been filed. It, is, it has been published in some cases. It remains final publication. 80% of the entire process has been completed. What is remaining now is just 20%, which is the actual voting for the candidate and a contestation between the political between and among the political parties. You could have a situation, and you will have a situation, where a, a candidate will proceed to court. In the course of it, a judge may just one way or the other give interim injunction, interlocutory injunction, or seek to question a process which had been completed. You know. Again, Nigeria is a state party to the uh, uh, ECOWAS convention, uh, the, the um, supplementary protocol, on e e election, good governance. And that provision signed into, I mean, acceded to by President Obasanjo, as he then was, on the 21st of December 2001, regulating elections prohibits any member state of the ECOWAS Commission from bringing into force any new law regulating election six months before the, uh, the, the election. I will take your leave to just make a quick reference to it. I know, I know we don't have all the time, but I'll just make a quick reference to the ECOWAS Convention, ECOWAS Protocol. Please bear with me. There is Article 1, and the entire convention is called Protocol on Democracy and Good Governance Supplementary to the Protocol Relating to the Mechanism for Conflict Prevention, Conflict Management, Conflict Resolution, peacekeeping and security. And in Article 2, in Article 2, it says on elections, no substantial modification shall be made to the electoral laws in the last six months before the elections, except with the consent of a majority of political actors. And political actors in this case is, are the political parties. Have they consented in this manner? Could we take that the, uh, asset, the, the passage of this bill by the political party, by the National Assembly, is consent by the political actors? No. It is not all the members of the National Assembly who are party to passing this um, are, are contending or contesting for the elections. The political actors in this case are the political parties. Have all the political parties been party to this? It also says, now, all the elections shall be organized on the day. If you allow me to come in here, fixed by the Constitution. Mr. Anang, if you let me come in law. here and now, just uh, get some more clarifications from you. Uh, when that amendment was passed to Mr. President uh, the third time, we didn't have an issue of the card reader implement, implement, uh, that's implementing it or not, uh, as it were. But yes. why then should we have the issue of the card reader when it was presented to the President the fourth time? Please, I didn't understand it. I didn't hear the question clearly. My question to you is that when the previous presentations of the Electoral Amendment Bill 
to the president was made up to the third time. We didn't have an issue of whether or not the adoption of the card reader should remain or not. Then why now should it be such a concern? So much so that the president has identified that as an anomaly and so would not uh, give assent to that bill. I want to say with respect that the president has not identified the question of, um, of uh, card reader as an anomaly in this matter. And it's not one of the matters he has um, uh, uh, stated in his uh, communication to the National Assembly. It has, it has only stated three things. One, the, that it is too early to come, it is too late in the day to bring into force a new electoral law. If you say, if I may read, if you, if you allow me, he said, Mr. President said, I am declining assent to the bill principally because I am concerned that passing a new electoral bill this far into the electoral process for the 2019 general elections, which commenced under the 2015 Electoral Act, could create some uncertainty about the applicable legislation to govern the process. Any real or apparent ch change to the rules this close to the election may provide an opportunity for disruption and confusion in respect of which law governs the electoral process. This leads me to believe that in the best interest of the country and our democracy, it, it is in the best interest of the country and our democracy for the National Assembly to specifically state in the bill that the Electoral Act will come into force, into effect, and be applicable to elections commencing after the 2019 general elections. Now, he, he then he goes on to say, identify some drafting errors of, of uh, uh, Section 18, a drafting error of Section 11 and Section 24, and the de definition of the term World Collection Center. So it's not one of the matters which uh, Mr. President has uh, specifically alluded to. My submission on the question of the card reader are two. One, that whether or not you have the, the 2018, the, the new amendment proposed, assented to law, INEC still has taken a decision by way of policy to use electronic voting. And again, that I have read it twice, that the, that bill itself does not make it compulsory. It does not make it compulsory. Not that it says, look, you must use it. If you don't use it, election is invalid. And the president receives to it. He says, INEC may use electronic voting or any other method identified by it in transmission of results. He said it may use electronic or any other method also allowed by it 